I found a way you could get any takeover on whatever build you have. Not going to show you how to do it for obvious reasons, but it may or may not be a quick YouTube search away. I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to go back on my Giannis Antetokounmpo build. We've seen how overpowered this build can be with slashing takeover, the rim takeover, and just how dominant it is. But I wanted to see how overpowered it could be if we added a sharpshooting takeover, a shot creating takeover, playmaking, post scoring to see what we could do. So for this first time through, we're going to try to play our best like a post score. So I put on like pro touch and masher post spin technician. You guys remember I didn't have like the highest post stats on this build, but we're going to see if like post takeover is really like that. We even got badges like mini magician, space crater, help us shoot some of those post hop shots. Everything else is pretty common. Uh, we got ourselves a two way shot creator. Of course we had to go with the rim and post takeover. I feel like that's like the most lethal combination if you're like an inside, but we just got to get the ball one time and then we can start mashing around in the paint. All right, that might be good. I don't know. Okay, 7%. Awesome. Bro, I feel like so many more contested shots are going in now. Like, I feel like it's insane. Yoink. All right, we got to stop now. We got to we gotta play careful. Let's play like a post score. Just mash it in the paint. Come on, man. I low-key should have put slashing takeover on, but we'll try different combinations of stuff right here. He knows we're a post score, but you know what? We're going to make sure we get our takeover up a little bit before we start mashing around and doing post fades. Probably should have checked my post score animations because there's no shot I've post scored on this build before. All right, let's go down here. All right, we're big. We're a big body. Hey, just mashing around. We almost have that dual takeover already. See if we can do a post hop shot. Or actually, let's do a fadeaway. The fadeaway is kind of nice. The fadeaway is kind of nice. There we go. See, look, we're a post score. All right, now we got dual takeover. This is where I want to see if I can start mashing people and bullying. My, my strength is pretty high. I didn't think I'd be able to move past people since my post control is low. But we can't even make that get our own rebound pump fake it. Push him out of the way because we're a post score. Why would Giannis go up like that? I want a strong animation right there. I, I did have pro touch on as well. So this should help our post hooks a little bit. If we know what we're doing. I was 40% contested. If I didn't do it, if that was anything else, that would, literally would have been green. Yep, that's rim take. Dude, rim take is so nice. All right, so, so far, we haven't been able to hit the hook shot. We couldn't spin by this dude. I don't know, post takeover, it might not be the best if you don't have the stats, not gonna lie. Yep, we'll take that. We'll take that. Come on, man. I know how this guy's playing. I don't know why I'm not being able to get stops right now. now I would usually go down and like try to do, you know, jump shots and stuff like that. But you know what? We're, we're playing like a traditional post score, all right? We're gonna be shoulder charging and drop stepping. Shoulder charging and drop stepping. Hey, that looks like a post score move. I want to do the hook shot. Let's see, like, I wanted to do, like, a lot of different stuff on this. But he is kind of playing weird. So let's go ahead and just dunk. Ooh, a little bully animation. Okay. I did move my left analog stick into him by accident. But I definitely can see that I did that. Right, let's go down here again. Oop, spin off. Oop, didn't work. Post hook. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, sir. We got the post hook down. We got the post fade. All we really need to do to show off the post take now is do a post hop shot. And I did see that meter was actually pretty big. Oh, I dropped stuff in my accident. Oh, it's still 46. All right, post take. Post hop shot time. Come on. Need this. Need this. Come on. No, no that was only 14. I probably could have made that low key. He's going to try to rim run, but I do have... Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. That's a good stop. You get rim take, it really shuts down that rim run like crazy. That's got to be good. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, low key. All these badges like Mini Magician, Space Crater, and you match that with Post Take, it's really not that bad. Now, this is also a takeover. I really wanted to see how it would play out on this build. We are using a sharp shooting takeover on my six foot 11 Giannis build. I feel bad for this guy. Now, I wanted to combo this one with Slashing and Sharp because for some reason, I feel like that's the most overpowered combo you can do. So let's go ahead and take us to the basket. That was timed so poorly and somehow I was still able to make it. All right, so we've got no takeover right now. So let's just see how this build can shoot with no take. That's kind of deep. I don't know if we'll be able to get that one. See? All right, no takeover. We missed a wide open three, but we get it right back. Let's do one of these real quick. A little a little dunk again real fast just to dunk on him so we can get this takeover. He is going to leave us open, so this might be good. I want to try out like different three-point shots as well. Maybe some fadeaways, some standstills and stuff like that. If he leaves us open, we should be able to knock this down and we're pretty much anything off takeover. See, no take. The build is still pretty consistent, but I really wanted to test out how deep this build could shoot with sharp shooting takeover and only a 73-pointer. Like, can we... All right, well, we cannot do that. So let's not try that again. This is kind of deep, right? That's kind of deep. And you can see the meter definitely is a little bit bigger there. So I kind of like that. Man, I wish I honestly could get sharp take on this build. This would have been insane. Like one of the best builds in the game for sure. Look at him jump, jumping out here. Can we hit that? All right, all right, we're getting a little carried away. Can we hit the KD escape on the way back though? Oh, the KD hop jump. <laughs> That's what I meant, the KD hop jumper. We're even hitting that. Sharpshooting takeover is nasty. Dude, he was leaving us open. Let's see if we can shoot this far. That's kind of deep. 
Oh my god! Yo, sharpshooting takeover is really like that. Now, if we can hit a fade right off this, off the dribble, he wasn't expecting it. Come on. Okay, okay. Maybe if we had that shot creating takeover, we'd make that. But bro, that other one was actually super far out. We could have dunked it right on his head, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna dribble up, see if we can pull from the hash. Can we pull from the hash? Oh, dude, I feel like I can make that, bro. I feel like that's not a crazy shot. Oh, that's definitely not a crazy shot. Okay, yeah. All right, dude. All right. I like sharp shooting takeover. I really wish I could have had sharp takeover on this build from the get-go because, man, this build would be crazy. Oh, this dignify. I wanted to get another game in because I wanted to test out how OP the sharp shooting takeover can really be. But, man, I keep going up against these sweats, dude. 6-9 inside out score. All right, we got the stop already on the first play. That was risky for me to say that. It was only 5% contested. All right, so we're going to try our best to get sharpshooting takeover. This guy is a six foot nine sweat. So we got to make sure we are very careful with how we're doing this. I'm only going to be taking my open attempts from three. But getting sharpshooting takeover should like unlock the rest of our game, to be honest with you. We're going to dunk on him again. Oh, he's there for it. Get the rebound. Come on, Giannis. No. Dude, these dudes are so hard to defend on a big build like this. He has a good spin. Come on, man. He's up seven. No, please don't reach. Please don't reach. No. Take it back. Take it back. All right. I got to be careful, bro. I'm telling you, these guys are sweating today. Come on. Give me this dunk. Give me this dunk. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Yo, now we're anything off that sharp take. Let's go. I muted him because he was really loud. But, bro, I should have kept him unmuted for that one because that was actually... Oh, my gosh. What a block. That one was actually crazy. And, of course, the block gives him lock take. Unbelievable. Hey. All right. Now we got the slashing and sharp take. We got to be careful, though, because this guy has been reaching, like, the whole entire time before I even had takeover. I can only imagine what he's going to do now. <laughs> I don't care. I'll play this cheesy. It does not matter to me. Yes, LeBron escaped into the corner after getting ripped. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Come on, man. I'm honestly going to be playing this so careful, bro. Why haven't I done the signature move yet? The signature move with LeBron escape is literally perfect. That's literally bread and butter right there. Like, why haven't I tried that? All right, this is risky with him having lock take and actually being good, but we are trying to do the Kevin Durant hop jumper with sharpshooting takeover. I don't care if it's risky or not. No, I knew it, bro. Now he's going full sweat. You already know he's going full sweat, bro. Unbelievable. I should have made that. That was like perfectly timed. Maybe shotgunning takeover can help us. That's a good block. Come on, get the rebound. That's literally a perfect spin move. Oh, my goodness. Yes, come on. Hey, there we go. Hey, good game to that guy. 22 to 15. We were able to shoot pretty well. So having this LeBron escape and sharpshooting takeover definitely changes the way this build plays. Now, this is the one that I'm really interested in. I wanted to see if shot creating takeover on a build with like really mid stats could actually benefit you and make some crazy stuff. Now, you know, six foot tents and up can only get this Kevin Durant hop jumper. So I didn't even have that on before. So I wanted to see if I could like shoot some crazy step backs with it. Oh, boy. The worst people to play against. You're, when your only movement is the LeBron James escape, bro. I feel like people just don't learn how to dribble anymore. We're going to get the shot takeover. If I have to rim run the whole entire time to do it, I'll do that. And I know this guy's a small guard, so this should be pretty easy. There we go. <laughs> the LeBron James escape is really like that. Now we have shot creating takeover. Let's see if we can break some ankles too while we're at it. Dude, that meter is huge. And I only had a 73 pointer. I guess shot take gives you plus 10 though, right? So an 80 mid range should be really nice with this. I right, see now he thinks, like I said, dude, a million times when you show them that hob jumper, they're going to be playing the hob jumper. And then the rim runs there too. Dude, I can't do that either, bro. It's only 7%. It's a bad shot, 100%. But, bro, I wanted to do, like, spin shots and stuff. Cool, dude. There we go. Come on. That's good. What? How on earth is that a contest? He was nowhere near me. And it was 15. Bro, if your game plan is to match against rim takeover and you're a guard especially, it's just not going to work. Me, I'm six foot eleven. I can do that. Oh, my gosh. We broke him. Yes. <laughs> We broke it with that shot take and having space credit. All right, that's one thing I wanted to do when I had shot take. The other thing I want to do is hit a spin shot, but I don't know. That could be our chance. Dude, no. That has to be good, dude. That was literally a perfect opportunity for it. 
Off dribble. Let's go, man. <laughs> hey, you get posted. All right, shot creating takeover was pretty fun. We were able to break angles. Space crate just a little bit, you know, all that kind of stuff like that with shot take is always a good time. All right, so I ended up playing another game because I just wanted to make sure I could showcase to you guys how good shot creating takeover was. You can see we did the signature move right there. We hit him with the spin jumper, and you can also break ankles very consistently with this and green from the mid range, which is crazy. Casey the Kid YT. All right. Why does everybody look exactly like this guy? Also, you can see in the top right, we're using playmaking and glass takeover. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to comment. You didn't use all the takeovers because you didn't use glass. Even though this is probably like the worst combination for the one score, we're doing it anyway. Kind of, I guess, do anything to get this takeover. It's probably going to take the longest to get out of all of them. But there's nothing I can really do besides like get rebounds if I miss to get this takeover up at all. I was kind of feeling myself. I honestly thought I was going to miss that. I don't know. Sometimes you never know. A little hop jump. I feel like I'm on my Kevin Durant build when I'm really on a build with a 70 mid range. I don't know why I keep trying to do that on this build. Hey, if we get some rebounds, maybe a block shot right here, we might be able to get this takeover. Like, this is the best way to get ankle breakers doing that. But since I am dressed like Giannis, he's probably not going to step out of the paint anyway. We have the takeover. Please tell me this guy's going to get out of the paint. I want to break his ankles or make him stumble just a little bit. That's all I really, really care for. If we spark this, that's going to be big. Yep, that's big. Maybe he'll actually get out of the paint now. Like, I just won't dunk on him the whole time. Bro, get out of the paint, please. <laughs> that's kind of that's nice, though, being able to spark like that. I'm honestly kind of surprising myself. Maybe the AI will fall. That's probably our most best chance, to be honest. Most best. Good English. We have the AI on us. Can we break him, though? Well, he kind of stumbled a little bit. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Can we make the mid-range? Oh, hey, we made him stumble a little. Not anything crazy. And I know it's the AI, though, bro. But, like, if I can get an angle breaker, it'll just look so nice. Oh, my gosh. Can we dunk the two? Hey! <laughs> Ask if I care that it was the AI that would made stumble like that. I don't at all. Now we're about to get extremely toxic. Lockdown and rim protector takeover. Okay, this is like perfect. An 81 overall two-way interior finisher. If we can get like takeover, maybe turn the ball over a few times. See if we can spam with lock take on a build with like no steal and see how overpowered it really could be. This is like the one time where I didn't want to have ball first, but I guess it's going to allow us to get takeover, so that's good. I might just have to score low key because I thought like getting stops and stuff would help me get takeover, but low key just getting dunks like this does a lot better. Come on, man. Where did he go off lock take? Right when I get lock take, I'm literally just going to turn the ball over. All right, here we go. We've got lock and rim takeover. We're going to shoot ourselves a step back. And since I was barely able to make this at all, I already know I'm turning the ball over right here. Like I already know that's missing. Be kind of surprised. Look. See, that's a pretty good contest. I was just standing there. Going to the post. Hit him with a little hook shot. Dude, the hook shots, dude, even on this build are still really consistent. <laughs> that's just disrespectful. Let's go ahead and turn the ball back over so this guy can get it. I want to see if I can get like an all ball pluck with it, though. Because like I feel like I can. Considering I've gotten so many steals this year. All right, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I think he I think he might be done. Oh, this might be good, bro. This might be something. We might be onto something here. Like these are on ball steals though. Surprised. Oh, there's that rim take. Come on, man. <laughs> he's shut down on the perimeter and he's shut down in the paint too. Oh my gosh, that's another on ball steal. I honestly thought he was gonna get that. And then we shut him down in the paint. That's literally textbook. white post hop shot for game i would be infuriated if i was this guy well i hope you guys did enjoy the video let me know down below in the comment section which one you think is the best takeover in the game and also if you guys need yourself a jump shot you know i got you make sure to check out this video and until next time it's been your boy dignified i'm out peace